M0FXP, let's download the latest firmware for the UVK5. It's nearly 2024. So get yourself into firmware mode just by turn the radio off completely, unplug the cable, hold down the PTT and turn on so we get the white light at the top. Now plug in the cable. Okay, then go to this link here that I will provide in the description, which is here at the top. Download, click download programming software, which I've already done, and firmware. Get yourself a UV5R programming cable, plug that into the radio. You can see that mine's already plugged in, just here on the right hand side. Now open the firmware uploader program. I've already got one here, but I'll just show you if you go to the downloads programming software there's the update program there cps that one let's go yes go next 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 that will be your that i'm pretty sure that's just your programming software i'm agreeing to everything here finish go to start you can have a couple of programs that have loaded. One of them, go firmware here, double click, is the USB driver. Definitely run that. I know it's said it's in Chinese, but click it there. See that? I'll do it again. Click yes, you get all this. Just click these question marks. That loads the driver, even though you get the error. This is the bin file we want. See the bin file there, K5. You need to put that into a separate file on its own. So if you look here on the right, I've got Quashan K5. Just get it and drag it into K5 so that when you look in there, it's just sat there on its own. I've got two there because I put two in, but that's the one there. See the published bin, that's the latest one. That The other one above is like a bespoke one. So you know you want that one. Then open the program that loads the firmware. Close it, which is this one. Okay. Right click device manager. Double click where you've got ports. Make sure you've got the right port and it's CH340. Up here, click the com, which was nine. Same as what we saw there. Let me show you that again. nine okay you have to click connect that's crucial don't forget the connect thing so important then the three dots then you select the file which is here look this is the one we've got then update and that's it it'll flash away when it gets to the end it will be updated not sure if they've added anything so I put all the links in the description. Hopefully this will help Francis out as well. Yeah, it says OK. And then we'll unplug here. And it looks fine, yeah. Looks like it's working great. Bye for now, all the best.